Hey guys, Scott here from Red Rock Maintenance. So today is an exciting day. It's our first cut of the season. Actually, it's the second cut. We cut one uh, lawn last week, a commercial lawn, uh, but this is our first official day to cut most of our lawns. Uh, the grass is pretty long. Uh, let me show you our lawn. We cut this one on Sunday, last Sunday, and it's growing pretty good. So it already needs to be cut again. You can see there's lots of dew out this morning. It was actually uh, has had some frost on the roofs this morning, so that wasn't fun to wake up to. But anyways, guys, we're going to go cut some lawns today, see how many we get done. I'm not sure if we need to cut them all, but we're going to try and do a route and see, just stop at each one and check them all out. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today and hope I can get some footage for you for the first cuts of 2021. All right, guys, if you haven't done so already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's see the intro. So this road here, we've got three lawns down here. Uh, when we finished the one lawn that we were just at, I drive down here to start the next lawn because it's only about four or five driveways. Actually, more than four or five driveways. Now about ten driveways down. But I do that so we can get uh, this lawn done. By the time they're done, the other lawn, I'm pretty much done this lawn. So all we have to do is trim this lawn, and then we can move on to our next lawn. Um, I found that this is most efficient for us. We used to always go and. Uh, all stick at the other property, wait till we're all done, then come down here. But I decided to do this and it actually sped us up a little bit. So that helps us out quite a bit. So this property is fantastic because we cut this property every week as well as we clean his windows every year. So it's a very nice property to, to uh, do for a customer. Uh, and this lawn has irrigation on it. So it stays green almost all year long. It's really, really dry heat in the uh, dry spell. Sometimes it dry, uh, you know, goes dormant, but for the most part, we are able to cut this lawn all year long. All right, we've done, uh, this is our third lawn. The second lawn we did, my feet got absolutely soaked. As good as these Cujos are, the uh, water was very deep and pooled, so I got completely soaked with my feet. Let's see if that works. So I'm gonna clean the deck out right now, just to see how much is in there. The lawns are all soaking wet, so look at that. Three lawns already. We're gonna be doing this a lot today, so here we go to clean that bad boy out. So this property, I believe this is our third year doing it now. We picked it up a few years ago. We were down at another property down the road and the lady came down and started to talk to my uh, employee and uh, wanted us to come cut it. I guess she, uh, when we drove by, she was cutting it herself. So we ended up picking this lawn up. It's a pretty nice lawn. It's kind of uh, up front here, it's all kind of downhill. Uh, at the back, it's more flat, but it's all downhill here. So it's a little bit tricky on a couple spots here. But this lawn, we should have had cut last week because it was so long and so wet. But the reason we didn't cut it the following week was because it was pouring rain for the whole week. And when we were going to cut this lawn, it was raining all day. So we weren't able to cut this lawn. So it was a little bit uh, tricky to do because it did clump up a bit. But we did blow it after and kind of disperse the grass. Um, yeah, they, I believe they have irrigation on this lawn as well. So if the ir irrigation is turned on and it rains, the irrigation never turns off. So it makes the grass even wetter. Uh, so anyways, this lawn we uh, love cutting. It's a pretty easy lawn to cut. Um, I think it takes us about half an hour to 35 minutes with three of us. We usually have two people on this or three people on this lawn. We've got two on the walkers and then we've got one trimming it. Then once we're done that, we go and blow this whole driveway off. And uh, yeah, so that's what we do for this lawn. Um, yeah, so guys, enjoy this video. If you haven't done so already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and enjoy it.
back at our uh, commercial line that we did last week in the pouring rain, just picking more garbage up. And the dandy lines are all out all of a sudden. What a week uh, makes, or what a difference a week makes. More garbage, of course. So this week should be drier, I hope. Around back, it's gonna be soaked and wet, probably. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna film this one or not. Maybe I will, I filmed it last week, got soaking wet on it, but maybe I might put the GoPro on and decide later on. All right, this is what we got so far with the T25i. Mr. Walker there, nice stripes there. It's really, really wet in the center here. They've got a drain here, but it does not work. So all down through here when it rains, it gets so bad. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get in there or not, but we're going to try. All right, so this back area here is very, very wet this week. Uh, we probably shouldn't have been on it too much, but uh, the lawn's really long. We cut it the following week, like I said before, and it needed to be cut. I usually try and stay out of here as much as possible. Now I know later on in the video, you're going to see some tire marks and that it's not actually tearing the lawn up. It's just all the dirt in the water is making the uh, uh, grass brown because it's, you know, leaving the trails behind. Uh, I may get a lot of hate comments on that, but you know what, guys, this is lawn care. Not everything is perfect. People who have perfect conditions, um, I don't believe that ever happens because it rains. If it doesn't rain for you guys, you're very lucky. But for us, we get a lot of rain up here and you got to deal with these situations and sometimes things happen. Uh, you just have to deal with it. So you can see some of the marks there and uh, yeah, you'll see some more of the tire marks after uh, in a little bit in the video, but you can't do anything about it. You could just say, you know, stay off the lawn for that week, but if I stay off the lawn for that week, the following week, it'll be so long. It'll just take us forever to cut and um, it would look bad. And they want this lawn cut because it's a uh, uh, nursing home. So they want it to look good for the weekends because uh, that's when all the families come to visit their uh, families and that. So we got to make it look good for them. And usually the tire marks, uh, they only last for, you know, a few days and then they disappear. Uh, it does look like we're tearing it apart, but we're not. So I just wanted to put that out there because uh, they did complain one time that they thought I was ripping it apart, but it wasn't. So when I turn around here, you'll be able to see it. But anyways, guys, I thought I'd just put it out there because, you know, all the lawn care videos you've seen that, you always see the good stuff. You never see the bad stuff. Um, there is bad things that do happen in lawn care. And... I just thought I would show this because, you know, this does happen to people and I've seen a lot of posts where people, you know, do get stuck and have ruts on the lawn, so you just deal with it and when you do it, you fix it. I actually went back after and kind of pushed it back down in the part that I got stuck in and threw grass seed on it. Uh, yeah, so you can see right here all the brown marks, but that will disappear in a couple days. So, you guys, thanks for watching the video.